Hello guys, I'm back with part 2 of London Borough Market and I hope that you like part 1 where we have explored the 3 crown square section of Borough Market and today I'm going to take you to the London Borough Market kitchen where we have the food stalls followed by the green market where all the vegetables and the cooking provisions are available. Hi guys! So today we are doing shopping in the shopping center or uh, you know uh, the I would say the fruits and everything but here this is an open market this is the real market and uh, it's not a small market Burroughs market is a very very large market and it actually gives you the feel of you know going to a market if you are especially with the vendors you know sell all their fruits all the vegetables meat everything amazing experience in market Baru market offers you more than 50 plus outlets of food and drink in its vicinity Baru market kitchen is known for its international cuisines across the world not only the international cuisines but also to maintain its authenticity it's a one-stop food junction to try various delicacies we will cover some of the restaurants and its specialties in this video let's start with an Iraqi restaurant called Juma expect classic dishes such as fatouche alongside his signature handmade kuba fried and braised stuffed dumplings in a variety of textures shapes and flavors all food served his halal Moving to Hornoke Place is the best of Indian vegetarian street food which offers fresh fragrant dishes drawn from all corners of the subcontinent including Moong Dal, Dosha, Dosha Chat and Ek Kathik Roll. From a team of chefs striving to make the best sandwich in London, the Black Pig signature honey truffle and parmesan pork ciabatta has made its mark. It is one of the small range of generous sandwiches with an Italian influence. Made using Blitmac free range pork, cheese from the Parmem and mozzarella stand and a fresh ciabatta from Bread Ahead Bakery and finished over coals in a big green egg ceramic grill. There are some vegetarian options also available in this sandwich shop. One of the famous Indian restaurants that is available here is called uh, Gujarati Rasoi is known for its fitters you know during evening times next moving to the mexican street food with the name called tacos padre which means the father of tacos so it has a very good choices of tacos that offers by padre especially the meat tacos you know with lime ah oh, is zestful it's so soulful so when you are here do try the tacos from padre we are now walking towards the Rochester Walk. At the end of this lane, we have Brindisa Spanish Foods. Brindisa sells the highest quality hand carved Iberico and Serrano hams at the ham counter alongside fresh and cured meats. They also offer a beautiful selection of Spanish cheeses and accompaniments, award winning tin fishes, nuts, olives, pulses and some exceptional olive oils and vinegars. The Arabica store retains their humble market roots showcasing a plethora of fresh dips, salads, savory Mediterranean pastries, baklava and Turkish delights alongside hot food options such as their famous halal chicken shawarma slides to order and freshly cooked falafel wraps. Natua pasta is known for dishes include black truffle and burrata tortellini pappardelle pasta to be savored with a glass of prosecco. Next we move to Applebee's fish food stall. Here guests can watch as chefs grill garlic prawns and kazun spice fish over an impressive teppanyaki griddle and serve in wraps with crunchy lettuce, sweet chili and and sour cream next we stop by hook and sun shop because we were impressed with the clarified butter that it offers 
We were impressed because uh, it was smelling exactly like my mom used to make products. And I'm having uh, organic ice cream. It tastes really nice. Mm. Good. This is really good because it's an organic ice cream, and I can taste some milk in it, which means that this has been stirred constantly to get this consistency of ice cream. It doesn't have any uh, preservatives. Now we are moving to the green market. We are at Raya. Raya is more than a grocery store. It's a destination for lovers of Southeast Asian food. It's a community of farmers, producers and foodies brought together by a taste of for authenticity and a passion for doing things the right way. Raya is famous for its exotic fruits like premium durian, mangosteen, Longan, fresh sugar cane, pepino melon, star fruit, fusi apple, organic avocado, organic lime, kivano, pomegranate, premium mango, okra, long red chili, green sour mango, yellow dragon fruit, red dragon fruit, granadilla, brown coconut, guava, and lychee. Coming to vegetables. Uh, the exotic vegetable which I could say is pea aubergine, Thai green round aubergine, organic ginger, long red chili, organic turmeric and tamarind. Ted's Veg offers all the vegetables and fruits that you get in the retail shops but additionally you will get some exotic vegetables like globe artichokes. We were walking around Stooney Street and we came across this Lemash Duquat here stall before which we could see number of lavender boys products and we could see the lavender crops, lavender seeds and the lavender oils as well. Additionally we can also see the hanging garlic and shallots. This is natural smoothies providing the organic fruit juices and smoothies. We are now exploring the various shops that are available in the other side of Green Market. Moving ahead, we just came across the shops of the cookies, the sweet shops, the juice shop and followed by the muffins, the bread. You know the freshly baked breads, cheesecakes, different types of cheesecakes for sale, and you can taste the chips, muffins, and we can also see the chocolates, the croissants, almond croissant, pistachio croissants. You can see it here. We have tried it. It was really. Good. I'm exhausted by walking for almost two hours and now I'm having you know authentic real smoothie made up of uh, mango and strawberry and listening to uh, this guy's music.